maintenant, je n'ai pas beaucoup de temps à vous consacrer aujourd'hui. What's all this? Robespierre. He's declared today a festival of the Supreme Being. A peer into the virtue of the nation and the citizen's duty toward it. Why does that sound familiar? As far as Templar doctrine goes, it's a loose interpretation. We'll never get close to him in the middle of all this. We'd best retire and wait for a better opportunity. Still thinking like an assassin. This time, I have to go. Oh? What would that be? Think like a Templar. Amazing! I thought we were supposed to be rationalists, now. What's he thinking? Vive Robespierre! Bravo! The Supreme Being ain't called for Robespierre. I'll eat my hat. What is he thinking? What now? Robespierre is unassailable. He's got half the guard out in force. We'll never get within ten yards of him. Just what I said. But he's not as popular as he was. The purges, the supreme being cult. If we can discredit him, he's finished. 
Massive public spectacle is the perfect venue. Exactly. Paint him as a dangerous lunatic and his power will evaporate like snow in April. But we'll need some convincing evidence. I have an idea where to start. You coming? Meet me after. I have my own arrangements to make. Monsieur, as you have been the savior of the Republic, I beg you now to be my brother's savior as well. Even now he languishes in prison, arrested by patriots more zealous in their heroism than careful in their methods. No warrant for André's arrest was ever issued, and yet he remains imprisoned in Saint-Lazare under suspicion. I pray you do not recall my brother's writings in the Journal de Paris, coming as they did from an intemperate poet's heart. Rather, I beg you, if my own humble skills have been even the smallest of aid to our glorious revolution, spare my brother. In his writings, I see the burgeoning of France's greatest poet, a light that will shine for all time. Yours in patriotism, Marie-Joseph Chenier. Maybe something a bit stronger. Publiciste de la Révolution Française, the day after Marat died. That's no help at all. <laughs> Looks like a diary. At exactly five in the morning, a general recall shall be sounded in Paris. This call shall invite every citizen, men and women alike, to immediately adorn their houses with the beloved colors of liberty, either by rehanging their flags or by embellishing their houses with garlands of flowers and greenery. That's no help at all. A letter. Monsieur Robespierre, take care that you do not allow your personal ambitions to come before the great work. That which we do, we do not for our own glory, 
but to remake the world into Malay's image. Jamais. Not quite what I'm looking for. Merlin, Talien, Bourdon. These are all deputies of the National Convention. Lists of political figures written in the hand of a man fond of sending his rivals to the guillotine. Yes, he should do nicely. of names. Fifty or so deputies of the National Convention, all written in Robespierre's hand and all opposed to him. I imagine those good gentlemen would be quite interested to know they're on that list. First, Monsieur Robespierre brought his own refreshments. Distract the guards, I have an idea. Distract the guards? Right.
How did I get? Causes hallucinations. This will make him look mad. Now we have to make him look dangerous. The list of names. It must fall into the right hands, anonymously. If our involvement gets out, it'll tip Germain off. Leave that part to me.
It is wisdom, above all, that our guilty enemies want to drive from the Republic. To wisdom alone does it belong to consolidate the prosperity of Empire. Being a list of enemies of the Revolution. Half a hundred names here. Robespierre's gone too far this time. That set the fox in the hen house. Pity the hens. Now what? We wait. It won't take long. Once Robespierre has lost the support of the people, he'll be no more use to Germain. When Germain abandons him... He's vulnerable. Let's go. 